Hey guys, this is Donald. Today we're going to be talking about teams that you can skip in Marvel Strike Force. Now, there is actually a fair few of them at the moment due to the fact that the old meta has just really changed. There's been this massive shift away, um, new teams coming in across the last year, year and a half. They've just really kind of power crept out old stuff, including teams that are now coming out, like since they've started this meta 2.0 with like Silver Surfer. Um, and it's just kind of got to the point that there's teams that just really aren't working worth putting any effort into there's stuff like you can use them for some events and stuff and that's about all i would say um there's some characters on there that you could build up a little bit for like blitz or something but i don't know overall i just think that they're mostly things that you as a new player are definitely worth skipping even a veteran i wouldn't invest too heavily into any of them ever so the first one here is AIM. Now this one really pains me because AIM is a team that I really, really love. Now personally, I like AIM Researcher instead of AIM Monstrosity here, but the team just doesn't hold up well. There's so many characters with immunity, so many characters that can remove debuffs now. Um, they just can't kind of get their stuff going, which is putting debuffs onto the enemy and then um, manipulating debuffs on themselves and stuff. They just kind of, uh, immunity has been handed out to so many different characters that just really kind of makes them struggle a lot. They also just don't have the damage, their speed bar manipulation is great with the Salter pumping out a whole lot, but overall it just doesn't add enough that they can actually make a difference in a lot of fights. So overall they're just not worth investing too heavily in anymore. Next up is Asgardians. Now, Asgardians, there's kind of a couple exceptions here. The first one is Hela. Hela is amazing, definitely worth building. Loki or Thor, not too bad. Like Thor, if you want to put him with Wave 1 Avengers is fine. Loki, if you want to pair him with Hela with other characters is fine. But Heimdall and Sif are just not great. They just don't do enough. Um, like Sif doesn't have any kind of super big uh, way to kind of make it so like super big resistance or anything like that. So she's easily has that taunt removed from her. Um, they're just overall not amazing. And Loki's really only great for his special. Like, um, I mean, his ultimate like saves them potentially and he can like stealth away Hela when she gets low, but his special like that kind of calling the mind control is about all he's good for and Thor are alongside wave one. But Heimdall and Sif just, aren't really worth building anymore build these guys for black bolt and that's it but even then you can just build up hella thor and loki and get them to carry the other two even then Hella and Thor should be enough to be able to do it. Um, Loki's at the point where he just he's so fragile that he's just not worth building anymore Next up is the Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, obviously, the exception to this is Gamora, um, and you could potentially like want to go after Star Lord at the start to put with Gamora, but I don't think that's worth it all. I think that's a massive waste. Um, but the Guardians of the Galaxy just also suffer from the fact that both of their tanks don't have high resistance, so they're easily removed. They've got burst, but nowadays everyone has like defense up. They have no way to remove buffs off the enemies. Um, they're just uh, missing so much stuff that is crammed into kits nowadays of characters that they just aren't able to do it like their thing used to be a heavy burst team and rocket can still kind of do that star Lord can still kind of do that but the rest just don't have the support to be able to allow them to do it plus just health pools overall have grown a lot and rocket's health pool is at the point where he's basically like a raccoon easily destroyed Next up is the hand. I'm not even going to talk about these guys too much. Hand just aren't worth building. Build them for... Um Build them for the hand job event, and that's it. Um, realistically, they're just not really worth it. Electra is the only exception to this. She's a decent character. Uh, and if you want to work on any of these guys for that event, like hand sentry and hand archer, the rest just aren't amazing. Next up, Inhumans. Inhumans are ones that, like a team that were... Uh, decent but they always had this weird kind of uh they have something off about them like quake and karnak providing slows and crystal providing slows like all of them kind of they all double up on stuff they just don't have this kind of clear where each member has their own kind of role in it or anything like quakes ultimate applies the offense down but then they're already offense down from yo-yo anyway so it's not super worth it so they're just kind of in this weird kind of limbo thing since they were invest uh, like 
it first added in. Um, and nowadays it kind of hasn't changed. Like if you wanted to work on Black Bolt, that would be perfectly okay. Yo-Yo to go alongside him, perfectly okay. Crystal, it's at the point where I don't think she's really worth it anymore. She could be like a war defense character alongside the other two, but I don't think it's really worth it anymore. And Quake and Karnak can just kind of sit there. The only reason I build these guys for Ebony more, and that's it. And even then, get your Black Bolt, your Yo-Yo, your Crystal to carry you through. Next up is the Hydra team. Now, ignore Red Skull here, but the Hydra minions, they're just like this team was decent for like a patch or two until the power armor team came in until like black bolt was more prevalent um, until that kind of stuff happened and nowadays they're just not really worth it red skull still decently worth it alongside like hydra 3.0 alongside um uh, alongside Baron Zemo and stuff, but the rest of the guys, like, the only reason I would find to build these as a new player would be for the beginning of the Villains 7.1 to 7.3 campaign. That's the only reason I would ever suggest working on these guys. And even then, you drop one of them, put in Zemo in here, um, probably, like, drop a Rifle Trooper, Sniper, either one of those two, probably Rifle Trooper, personally. Um, and that's about it. That's the only reason I'd build them. And even then, do the do it, like, with the absolute minimum. Other than that, the team's just not really worth working on anymore, unfortunately. Next up is Kree. I'm not even going to cover Kree. Work on them for Fury. Work on Ronan for um, Phoenix, and that's it. Like, even then, Phoenix, you don't need a big Ronan for it. They just, they got power crept so quickly. They'll power crept before they were released. They told us, hey, we're going to rework them so that they're decent, and that's about all they ever were, were decent. Next up is the Kree Ultimus team. Minerva's the exception to this. Still a really great character. Ultimus, a plug and play character. The others just leave in the trash bin. Trash bin. They're just not great anymore. They've just kind of fall out, fell out so much like they have no real use. Next up is Power Armor. Power Armor is kind of this weird kind of in this weird kind of spot. If you're coming up against an alliance or alliances that have a lot of old meta stuff on defense, they're decent. But that's about where they stop because they just are missing a few different things from their kits to bring them up over that decent line. Um, eventually, I assume the new Power Armor character will come out and these guys will go up a lot, um, which is what happened when Ironheart came out. They jumped up a fair bit, but they're still kind of in this weird kind of limbo where they're missing something at their heart. And most likely that should be tied to Iron Man because he's the worst legendary in the game. Um, the team just isn't really worth investing in. There's better uses for your tech gear. Um, just kind of, I mean, if you wanted to take them minimally to kind of be able to do blitz, that's about all I would suggest. Although you could do Falcon a little bit higher just because he has a decent kit that is decent plug and play with the uh, turn meter control that he does have uh, in there. Next up is Supernatural. I really wish that Supernatural was better. There's something missing again from them. They were one of those teams that came out, was good, um, but that's about it. Now they're down to like low decent. They're just missing a lot of different stuff. Mordo has the capability to be amazing. Um, he kind of has a decent kit that can combine alongside something like Heller or something. Doctor Strange, again, has a, the capacity to be decent. Ghost Rider does. There's just someone who's missing here. Wakandans, they were never great. Shuri and Killmonger are the only two worth working on. Black Panther wasn't too bad for a little bit, but he kind of like fell off a fair bit. Um, and Mimbaku and Okoye just had are never great. This was like their first opportunity to make a really great raid team. They fell so short of it that it's just a meme now with them calling it the Apex raid team and us laughing in their faces. Killmonger and Shuri work on them, rest, leave low, just do it for uh, Chaos Theory, and that's it. Next up is X-Force. X-Force is um, slowly kind of getting crept out. They're still decent. They still have their uses. But nowadays with like Blue Iso on to Dr. Octopus, one of their uses against that team's kind of dropped off. Um, they're kind of like slowly kind of dripping out as more and better war defense teams coming out. Maybe they'll add in a new character in here eventually. You know what? Originally Shatterstar was meant to be on this team. That definitely could have made a huge difference here. But they obviously 
obviously decided to go X Factor that route. However, I mean, there's something that they could easily add into here to bring them up. But at the moment, I don't think X Force is worth building beyond using them to unlock Dr. Octopus. And that's it. Next up is X-Men. Build up your Phoenix Great and Colossus decently, but the rest can be just left to low. It's at the point that they just can't take out any war defense teams, really. Uh, unless you're doing a really, really big punch down, there's way better uses for your mutant gear, whether that's even X-Force is a way better use. And Brotherhood's a better use. Um... Uh, Namor is a better use, even like X-Factor is a massively better use, Marauders is a better use, nearly every other mutant team is a better use than working on the X-Men, unfortunately. Phoenix is worth it for Dark Dimension, yes, I'll give them that, Dark Dimension 3, 4, 5, she'll be decent anyway, because she's got percent based damage, but the rest are just kind of at the point that they're just not doing enough, um, they're really squishy as well, like, you, could, you probably need to start running Psylocke in the with them if you're not like cyclops is decently squishy storms decently squishy any kind of war defense that has front loaded damage is going to just nu nuke them off the planet next up is young avengers as i said before about a couple teams there's teams that are released that are decent um but then they're just missing something and uh, young avengers has always been that kind of team there's always something that has been missing most likely this key fifth member captain marvel is like the unofficial myth uh fifth because uh she does a, a ton of damage and the rest of the team's kind of missing out on damage a lot but there's just something that's really missing from this team and they kind of, they haven't gone back to them. I'm hoping they go back to them. You know what? I'm probably going to put that to this video and then Ka uh, Cloak and Dagger will be next patch and they'll be Young Avengers and it'll, it'll be completely irrelevant. But at the moment, Young Avengers just aren't really worth it. You've got bio characters here and bio has much better uses. Even symbiotes are a mass, mass, is, ma, ma, blah, 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 much better use than them. Um, and then even Mystic like nowadays has a lot better uses so overall this team just really has fallen short and they just aren't worth investing in and finally ravages ravages just have never really been great yondu has been decent at the very 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 start of the game like three years ago but nowadays he's just they've all kind of fallen off they need a massive rework and that's it um but that's it for today guys i'd love to hear from you guys what teams you think should be skipped and if there's any in here that you think i shouldn't say um supernatural is probably the one that i am least kind of confident about but even then i think that there's better uses for mystic gear nowadays um, that's it for today, guys. Have a great day. Goodbye.